So first thing, I'm just gonna pop this barnacle off. So what I have here is the mandibular symphysis from a baleen whale, a little over five million years old. So this is part of the uh, jawbone, just where it connects back to the skull. I'm working hard on cleaning off a number of barnacles on here, as well as some sediment. The barnacles are because this was originally recovered by a diver offshore. But the most interesting feature, of course, has to be these bite marks here from the tooth, teeth of the megalodon. So this whale was almost certainly hunted and killed by the megalodon. It certainly was fed on by it, at the very least. And this is something that we just, the museum just recently acquired this for the inclusion in our shark exhibit, which the giant teeth of the meg tore through the flesh, uh, tore through the muscle, and then put these gouges in the bone. And the part of the whale we're talking about is basically this part right here is what we have. And megalodon was probably one of his most preferred meals was whale. Yeah, I spent six years in the uh, Paleo Hall giving tours, and I would always tell folks that Megalodon's favorite food were whales, but here's the evidence to prove it. So this would have torn through the flesh, torn through the, the skin, and then of course impacted the bone. And the last time this w a tooth like this was on this bone was when this thing was dying, you know, five, six million years ago. So first thing, I'm just gonna pop this barnacle off. Yeah, it's tough. It's pretty small. Yeah, there you go. There he goes. Oh, and that one came off real clean. Need any more work? So actually, on to the next one. All right, so I moved on to the this barnacle here, which I'm just gonna try and pop off. Let's see if this one. Oh, that one also came pretty cleanly. I'm just gonna use a little bit of vinegar and a Q-tip to weaken up what's left behind there at the base. This may not effervesce, sometimes they do, and it's kind of dramatic and cool looking. I may be able to get off with the wood. And why are you using a wood tip? Uh, the goal is to do no damage at all to the bone, I'm trying to be as minimally invasive as possible. Although the wood doesn't quite seem to be doing it for me, so I'm gonna use my metal tool here, but I'm meant to be incredibly delicate, incredibly careful. Well, it's like it was. Yeah, the rest of this should be able to do with the Q-tip. As I was saying earlier, this is our lab. This is our paleo prep lab here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. And we have some people in today, some preparators that are working on things to prepare for our shark exhibit. Uh, but she is working on a gompotheer tooth. So a gompotheer is a type of elephant that was around at the time of uh, Megalodon. And so we don't have any chew marks on this gompotheer, but we do know, at least in California, Gompotheres were taken, at least in one case, were taken by a megalodon. And that's the tableau that we have outside. And so she's working on an actual tooth uh, from that animal. And I'm, I'm actually kind of excited because of all the stuff we have in the collection, we don't have a gompotheer tooth. So, um, so she's working on cleaning that. It was encrusted with barnacles and a lot of things from where it was found in a marine environment. And she is currently just using, actually she's using a porcupine quill so very gently to take the incrustations off the enamel of the tooth. Anything you care to add to that, Lisa? 